Oh, that's right. Wait, what the hell is this? Ah, uh, you know, Captain, isn't it a beautiful day today? Flying the United Airlines 737 MAX from Denver to Los Angeles on Friday the 17th. Ah, oh, yes, you're right. I like this part of America. It's so quiet. You can just see the beautiful deserts and, like... You know, mountains here. Very peaceful. Captain, let me ask you though, are you ever worried about, you know, colliding with anything while on cruise flight? Nah, not really. I mean, what are we supposed to hit? There's literally nothing out here. That's right. I'm a little bit worried about it. Birds though. Come on, dude, we're at 36,000 feet. Uh, there can't be any birds here. Hmm. I don't know, I have a bad feeling about this flight. We might hit something. Like what if like a meteor or like a space object suddenly hits our windshield? Dude, what if anything? What if a bomb drops on your head right now? This has never happened before and it will never happen. Something dropping out of space and hitting our airplane? Oh, that's right. Wait, what the hell is this? <laughs> Oh well, everybody, here you go, because this weekend something crazy happened, something that has never happened before. No kidding, for the first time ever, an airplane has collided with something that was coming from space at cruise altitude, and something that is so unlikely to happen, it's actually insane. Here we see some pictures of, first of all, the windshield that was hit. We can see that the inner layer of the cockpit window broke and it shattered, and all those glass shards be scattered all over over the pedestal. The captain's right arm has bruises on it from the glass shattering. Now, yes, as you can see, the object that hit the airplane was supposedly quite large, but did not crash right through the windshield, but it managed to shatter it. And this, I think, is super interesting. I mean, you know, planes have been hit by birds before. Birds. That is debris you can hit. Hail, volcanic ashes, drones as well, and of course, other airplanes itself. But these things always happened at a lower altitude, first of all, but also had like a damage field that was a lot bigger than, for example, a hailstorm. I'm right now kind of thinking about what could have this been, because it is not confirmed that it is actual space debris that falls down to the earth or anything else. It could have been a UFO. Oh no, the aliens are probably not. But let's go ahead and work this incident through because I want to kind of see what in the world happened and why is no one really talking about this? So this is what is up. This is United Airlines flight 1093. We're on a Boeing 737 MAX and it's Friday early in the morning, 6 in the morning. By the way, of course it's a Boeing. We're on our takeoff here, runway 17 right and all seems well for our flight to Los Angeles. Oh, no, let's not roll off the runway. We, we don't want to have this go wrong already. We take off on our flight and we will eventually turn to the right right here where we can see the Colorado Mountains. Around half an hour after departure, we reach 36,000 feet. Our cruise altitude, where we, where we, within 20 minutes of cruise flight, end up hitting something just right here between Grand Junction and Castle valley once again where there is literally nothing i don't think any birds that fly super high could fly here and crash through our windshield we can put live weather to the 17th to 6 30 a.m pretty much the exact time where this happened where the skies looked like this uh looks pretty clear to me it's just that the sun is rising still and then suddenly there's this happening of course boom right through us and we've got a cracked windshield everything is cracked surprisingly though the pressurization of our airplane is not affected now this is definitely not a very comfortable plane to be in now with our shattered windshield but all is well this is what those windshields are almost made for everything is okay except of the arm of the captain now once again we don't know what this was what this just was that we saw could be space debris from flying satellite could be a meteor this is very unlikely to happen and i never expected this to happen i mean all Although space debris is falling down to earth all the time because we just sent so much trash out there most of the stuff gets burned up in the atmosphere while entering especially at 36,000 feet which is not very high at all in fact the chance of someone losing their life on an airplane because of space debris is 0.1 percent annually so these passengers on board this airplane should definitely go 
gambling because what are the odds the chances of this happening to you as a passenger is lower than trillion to one anyway what happens next i think is pretty interesting the pilots decide to send which is very up okay that's not very interesting Twenty six thousand feet and i think they handled it very much with ease well they were descending a little faster at some point three thousand feet per minute relatively emergency descent they for example never squawked an emergency squawk stayed the same not 7700 as you might know after the descent they decide to divert to salt lake city if i were if i were in this position i would probably declare an emergency though the multi-layer laminated windshield probably won't break but if this were to happen it would be very uncomfortable that's because they were flying not very slowly at all near the max speed of the 737 max 430 ground speed now here's us uh, doing the representative right turn towards the landing in salt lake city and yeah cracked windshields we see them pretty much all the time so this is no problem especially because only one side is affected the captain was very much able to even visually land the airplane still and that's what they did around an hour after this happening at seven in the morning here salt lake city all as well our airplane hasn't really even noticed our fault. Now, this is, of course, a little bit interesting. They may see this here and think, oh, why did they fly to Salt Lake City instead of just returning back to Denver? It makes sense because the mountains here in Colorado are quite high, so you kind of fly as low. So I think that did a good job. I'm just interested in seeing how's the first officer doing. I mean, we saw the captain's right arm. I hope everyone is safe. Well, the plane is definitely safe. I mean, it landed nicely. Here, we can try that. I literally can tell any aerodynamic deficiencies from our incident here. It's probably just a little bit scary to have a broken windshield that might crack even more or completely fall apart. Although that's very unlikely to happen because of the plastic lamination too. All right, anyway. I mean, this thing is no car safety glass that you can just crack open, you know? All right, anyway, let's go ahead and land. Yeah, that was wonderful. Let's go and put the reverse thrust on. Good job, airplane. Yeah, the 737 MAX that was damaged, just like our simulator model here, is still standing around here in Denver. Six hours after they landed here, they had a diversion 737 MAX 9 that brought them to Los Angeles. This will surely be an interesting investigation onto what happened. Here is, by the way, the pilot report here. Interesting. I mean, what in the world flies around at 36,000 feet? It could be in part from another airplane, though that's unlikely. It could be high altitude hail, although I... I don't think so, but it's probably going to be aliens. So everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.